Hi Eagle Artists and welcome to your art day. I'm so excited to tell you about our new unit starting today. You're going to be designing illustrations for your fantasy books that you're working on in writing. So I have brought a guest artist. This is my sister Kayla and she's here to help us because she has a lot more experience than me in drawing fantasy style. Actually, she has a hobby of writing fantasy books of her own. And so, she also draws the characters to illustrate them. So, I asked her to join us and tell us a little bit about how she creates her fantasy characters. So, I hope that you'll learn a lot and get inspired to create your own. Let's start! The first thing to think about when you're designing your fantasy art is what is important to your story. You want to make sure that your art is relevant to your story and shows something that is super important, like a place, or an object, or a person. As you can see here, I chose this gate as one of my artworks because behind the gate lies an important quest item for the characters in the story and they have to go through the gate to first reach their treasure. I also picked the, the mountain scene because this is a very climactic moment in the story where she's standing in front of the mountains and there's a big storm rolling over and there leads to a very important battle scene here as well. One common feature in fantasy books and fantasy art are all kinds of fantastic creatures. Personally, my favorite is a dragon. But, like all kinds of fantasy creatures, it can be hard to get a good idea of exactly what it looks like just by reading your story. Here are, are a couple of sketches of how I imagine my dragons to look, but the dragons in your stories or the other creatures in your stories might not look exactly like this. It's important to do several sketches to get an idea of exactly what you think your creature looks like, and it's also important to read very carefully in your story to get an idea of what it looks like, but also feel free to add some extra details just to make sure you fill in all of the gaps. Another very important part of fantasy stories are the characters. Much like fantasy creatures, fantasy characters can come in all shapes and sizes. It can often take a lot of sketches to figure out exactly what you want your character to look like. For this, I picked several pictures of the exact same character, but she looks very different in all of them. In this first drawing, I've included next to my character a list of some important things to make sure I include in the picture, such as the axe, the shoulder piece, and her braided hair. This can be helpful when drawing your person because that way you make sure that you include in your picture everything important about them. Here are another couple of sketches of the same character. It took me several sketches to figure out exactly what I wanted her to look like on paper. Just because I knew what she looked like in my head didn't mean that on my first attempt at sketching her, she turned out exactly like I wanted. So I had to do, take multiple tries to make sure that my end result looked like what she looked like in my head. Because this character is one of the main characters in my story, I decided I wanted to put her on the cover of my book. But before I was ready to start designing my book cover, I had to practice with all of the sketches that I just showed you to make sure that she would look on paper exactly the way that she looked in my imagination. So, I hope that this brief look at some of my fantasy art will inspire and guide you as you draw your own art for your own stories. Wow, that was so inspiring. We are so lucky that my sister Kayla was willing to share her amazing fantasy illustrations and her great advice. A big thank you to her. We learned that it is helpful to make a list of all the things that you definitely know that your fantasy characters will have and then use your imagination to fill in the details. I can see from Kayla's illustrations and other fantasy books that details are going to be important. We also learned 
that drawing fantasy characters can take more than one sketch to get your characters how you want. So your first assignment of this unit is to make five or more sketches of your fantasy places, objects, or people. Consider these sketches as a rough draft or practice for how you may illustrate your own fantasy stories later on. You don't need to make it perfect, but you do need to try your best. And it would be a great idea to use some of them for the same character or creature, but in different versions or poses, kind of like how Kayla showed in her examples. After you complete your five sketches, remember to take photos of them and upload them to this assignment. I can't wait to see what you will create.